diagnosed with stage four uh, Hodgkin's. One by one, we heard their stories. I had an appendiceal cancer, which spread uh, throughout the rest of my abdominal cavity. Firefighters facing off against cancer, for some, multiple times. The first time I was 29 years old, the second time I was 46, and this time I was uh, 55. It's what firefighters face every time they suit up and head to a fire, because the smoke that fills a room could be full of carcinogens. <laughs> and firefighters didn't always know the risks. So it used to be a badge of honor to uh, come out of a fire looking dirty. It showed that you had done a lot of work inside, inside of a fire. But that's not the case anymore. Firefighters are now trained on ways to avoid exposure. This process of hosing each other down. You get the bottom of your boots set. And using a brush to wipe away chemicals is estimated to reduce exposure by about 85%. They also now use these hoods to block particulates in the air and use wipes once the suit comes off to wash their skin. The fact is that uh, cancer is the number one killer of firefighters right now. Joe Shoemaker from the Firefighter Cancer Support Network said the whole point of this month of awareness is to make sure that firefighters know to take this life-saving action. I always ask the firefighters, what's it worth to you? You know, do you want to one day be able to walk your daughter down the aisle? Do you want to see your grandkids one day? And we have more on this topic coming up after the break. We'll tell you about a political battle underway as firefighters push for more cancers to be covered by D.C. That's going to be right after the break. Ah. Mm. Sergeant Freelamo Simba gets emotional when thinking about his diagnosis back in 2011. Diagnosed with stage four uh, Hodgkin's. At the time, cancer was not covered as an occupational disease, so he relied on his fellow firefighters who had to step up and help him. For the years that I was off, uh, members worked for me so that I can continue to get paid and pay for uh, bills, uh, which led to treatment. But Simba and others didn't think this was right. Good evening, Councilmember Medicine. So in 2012, an effort was underway to change the law, designating eight cancers as occupational diseases. I am here today to give you a testimony on being a prostate cancer patient and survivor. In this grainy 2012 video, you could see firefighter Preston Williams fighting for the law change. He too was diagnosed with cancer and was a good friend of Simba. He embodied that fight, that push uh, to make things better, and also you saw in him the will to live. Williams was successful in getting that law enacted in 2013, but sadly he would die from cancer just years later in 2016. Now, all this time later, Simba is keeping the fight alive, pushing for a new bill that would designate 10 more cancers as occupational diseases. A lot of us feel that it, it could have been done a long time ago and that it should be done. Now, our team did reach out to Mayor Bowser's office to see what she thought about this proposed change. In a statement, a spokesperson told us, quote, we're open to review a proposal. Our main priority is to protect and support our firefighters. At this point, no bill has been formally submitted. For WSA 9, I'm Evan Kozloff.